Today, I want to start creating some ingredients for a collage that I'll be making. We're going to be working in Photoshop. As you can see here in this folder, I'm going to create some AI ingredients in order to create my collage. But I'm going to jump into Adobe Firefly. Maybe I could say leaves floating in the sky, detailed bouquet in the background. And let's see what this gets us. I mean, look at this. So I'll download two of these. Also bring in your images. And the way you do that is you go here into reference image gallery, and then you want to upload an image of your own. So I'm gonna say floating glass spheres. In this case, I'm gonna say in a black background. So I have a few opportunities here. I love this this golden version here. Yes. Um, so I might download it. I have a list of things I wanna do. Okay, I wanna create some clouds, that's for sure. I might want to go to any one of these techniques here and find something that's like ink or line drawing, maybe something chiaroscuro so it still feels dark and see what that generates. Okay, so this is cool. I love this. So I'll download things like this. I'm going to do a quick treatment here to my portrait. I'm going to convert all of these in black and white. So let's do here. Oh, a vanishing point street was my other one. The reason why I like doing that is because I like creating a location base. Cool, vanishing point, and we're talking futuristic Ooh. vanishing point. So I'm gonna bring in some of those elements here from Firefly and start blending them in. You can see here, I have a posturized layer. And what postures does is it reduces your image to highlights, midtones, and shadows. So, okay, that's an adjustment layer. It's applying to both. And I'm also going to add a layer where we're gonna add some texture. We gotta fill it in with black and go into filter gallery and it's called reticulation and i love how it looks once you add that pressurize double click on it because it's a smart object and in here we have the contextual bar which everybody loves and so i have the remove background so gradient map is going to give me a black and white but i want to play with really cool like gradients are here okay so put it in between posturized and the textural layer so we bring back this layer here i might want to also remove the background on these subject oh, yeah. you selection can, you, you use the object selection yeah, yeah. and then just draw around them that actually would probably work really well right so draw around them something like this it's like okay this yep. is what you want i didn't draw a circle yeah got it back in to there yep totally and so you can see here, I can add any of these textures and start playing with modes. And like immediately it looks like I've spent a lot more time creating these things than I actually had to in today's day and age. Maybe something, oh, that's so pretty. So what if I want to create like a base here and I can say like base of moss with flowers and flying butterflies. So beautiful. I will invite you to try a new medium today in celebration of Adobe Firefly. Just allow yourself to experiment and have fun. Have fun. Have, have a lot fun. Of fun. Remember, we get to do this.